एक्सक्यूज मी सर अली सर या निकेश सर देर वन प्रॉब्लम सर आई एम कॉलिंग यू सर have a lot of uh, labs that are being set up by the industries and where we can have hands on experience i had never imagined in my engineering college i would be working hands on in such industry ready labs such as bosch rexroth this made us bring our dreams into reality registrations for admission to dayananda sagar university is now open for more information visit www.dsu.edu.in Good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning, Swami sir. Sir, we'll start the session now. Uh, yes. Sir, could you give permission to Swami sir?
ओके आई एम द होस्ट ओके ओके आई एम सॉरी सॉरी सर यस सर यू कैन स्टार्ट द सेशन सर आई विल जस्ट स्टॉप माय स्क्रीन शेयर यू कैन स्क्रीन शेयर Yes, sir. It's audible now, sir. Now it's audible, I think, right? Yes, sir. Yes, Swami. Okay. 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 If the error in the measurement of radius of a sphere is two percent, then the error in the determination of volume of the sphere will be. See the basic uh, equation uh, in de determining the errors is delta v by v. If v is the volume. Into hundred, that gives you the percentage error in the volume determination. Is is equal to what are the variables uh, present in the volume uh, which determine the volume of a sphere? Four by three pi r cube. So your voice is breaking. Four by three pi r all constants. The only thing which is proportional. to volume is the radius of the sphere so if there is any error in the radius i think uh, network it's 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 about uh, it's a uh, ic is breaking how is it now sir it's uh, get it's getting glitched in between sir okay No. Yes, sir. Okay, that is directly proportional to R. Now it is delta R by R. It is whole cube means this delta R by R becomes three times because determination of radius is to be done three times. 
because in volume there there are three terms length into breadth into height length determination has an error breadth determination has an error height determination has an error so there will be three errors three errors added that's why this becomes three times delta r by r because it is to the power of 3 here it is power for power of 3 now it is delta r by r into 100 that is percentage error in the radius determination is 3 into 2% because radius error is 2% now the answer will be 6% so delta v by v is 6% answer d for each chapter if you go on uh, taking the synopsis it will take the whole time because there are 14 chapters as you know and uh, uh, by uh, briefing the formula of each and every chapter means it will take more than 2 hours right so we will go to the problems and uh, corresponding formula will come but however i will i would like to share uh, one uh, file with you that uh, that is having the formula list of all the chapters so here is one question sir can you do synopsis for each chapter first see the problem is i told you you cannot uh, have time for solving the problems only synopsis if you want synopsis then i will discuss the synopsis only uh, mr anikesh please uh, clarify this whether yeah. they want synopsis or uh, problems santosh uh... tell uh, like you have to answer for the students question and answer sir yes yeah, sir question and answer sir because if they clear sir then they will uh, like if they do problems and they, then only they'll understand the type of questions which will be asked in the kcet or yes, yes. other exams yes amar uh, sir he is yes. asking here i have formula uh, list sir Yes, yes. I will. I will provide this file with you. Uh, the file I am showing you, I will uh, provide this file with you, which has all the useful formula in you from each chapter. Okay, like this. No problem. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can continue with question and answer, sir, because all students are majority. They are asking for okay. question and answer, sir. Yes, 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 yes. first few basics are weak that's why i can understand students i can understand your problems like sir you can do uh, one thing sir we uh, are equally helpless sir we can do one thing that uh, we can just uh, yes. uh, while solving the questions only sir we'll give them little explanation that will be better for them yes 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 yeah. yes that, well, that's what my, my idea is that's what my idea is yeah santosh is that is that fine santosh by that you can uh, this uh, like you can also understand by that thing huh? okay sir okay sir continue sir like we have we are already late sir okay okay is my voice clear now yes sir yes sir it's clear now it's clear now sir okay okay yes yes so now the question is which pair do not have equal dimensions equal dimensions means suppose uh, we have an equation y is equal to a sin omega t okay Uh, here sign of something sign wh whatever inside the sign term whatever is inside the uh, argument of the trigonometric part like uh, e to the power of minus lambda t is there uh, sign of something omega t is there whatever comes inside this uh, sign of the part tan of the part cos of the part is not to be taken into consideration only y and a are to be considered y means displacement from the mean position a means amplitude both are length measurements so here the length measurements are same and they have equal uh, dimensions okay now energy and torque force and impulse angular momentum and planck's constant elastic modulus and pressure which will will which are not having equal dimensions energy and torque are having same dimensions because energy is nothing but work done work means force into displacement force into displacement is newton meter in terms of um dimensions it becomes uh, m l t to the power of minus 2 mass into acceleration into l now this becomes m l square t to the power of minus 2 this is your work done or energy okay and uh, um torque is 
force into perpendicular distance right it is also having newton meter means it will also get you same dimensions now force and impulse force and impulse force means what ma that is m l to the power of minus 2 impulse means change in momentum right change in momentum means mv mv means mass and l to the power of minus 2 okay m into l to the l t to the power of minus 1 this is mv so force has ml t to the power of minus 2 and impulse has ml t to the power of minus 1 and this does not have equal in dimensions whereas angular momentum and planck's constant both are having um, same dimensions let's uh, check the angular momentum's uh, dimensions m v r m is for m v means l t to the power of minus 1 length meter per second into l that is m l square t to the power of minus 1 this is angular momentum's dimensions elastic modulus elastic modulus means what stress by strain right strain does not have any dimensions because what do you mean by strain strain has length change in length divided by original length right change in length delta l by l means both will dimensions have l cancelled out stress has force per area force per area and pressure is also force per area right that's why both will have same dimensions elastic modulus and pressure both have same dimensions angular momentum planck's constant have same dimensions energy and torque has them same dimensions force and impulse does not have same dimensions if force f velocity v and t are taken as fundamental units then the dimensions of mass are see in our uh, regular dimensional system m l t are the fundamental quantities mass Uh, space or distance and time these are taken as fundamental entities along with that there are other quantities like uh, current uh, luminous intensity uh, moles uh, and other quantities also also there but temperature k kelvin are also there but uh, mlt are the fundamental ones instead of mlt if somebody chooses f v velocity and t time as the um, fundamental quantities then what are the dimensions of mass okay f is equal to m a let's consider the equation m is equal to f by a this is the equation which explains what is mass and f means was f is a fundamental quantity you cannot write it as ml t to the power of minus 2 f itself is a fundamental quantity it has been given like that they are taken as fundamental units f divided by a means what velocity by time right velocity by time that is f divided by v is velocity capital v and t to the power of minus 1 now this becomes f v to the power of minus 1 t to the power of 1 so the option left here is f v t f v to the power of minus 1 into t option d will be the correct answer for this okay if c and r denotes capacitance and resistance the dimensional formula of c r is c c means capacitance what is capacitance according to the formula q by c uh, sorry uh, sorry q by v q by v is the capacitance formula and uh, r is what r is v by i got it so r c will be q by v into v by i so v and v cancelled so q by i will remain so what is q actually q is charge charge is a into t and current is a itself because current is one fundamental uh, dimensional constant i is uh, means that is represented by a a is represented as one of the fundamental uh, dimensional uh, fundamental unit whereas charge is actually current into time so it will be written as at charge is at so now this becomes rc will become at by a means t so rc has something of time dimensions so m0 l0 t to the power of 1 will be the correct answer for this a car moves a distance of 200 meters it covers the first half of the distance at a speed of 40 km per hour and uh, next half at the speed of v 
so here there is a 200 meter distance whatever it is let's call it as x and uh, the car covers half of the distance in one velocity and half of the distance in another velocity average speed itself is given v average is 48 km per hour then the value of v means the second half velocity we have to calculate for this there is a shortcut formula direct formula average velocity v a v is equal to 2v1 v2 divided by v1 plus v2 okay actually it is to be written as 1 by 2 divided by 1 by v1 plus 1 by v2 if there is if there is two intervals suppose if they divide this with the three intervals like um, 300 meters divided into 100 meters 100 meters and 100 meters so if a distance is given by uh, divided by three equal parts then the same formula will become 3 divided by 1 by v1 plus 1 by v2 plus 1 by v3 now it is divided into two equal parts that's why we will write 2 divided by 1 by v1 plus 1 by v2 that is the simplest form is 2 v1 v2 by v1 plus v2 sir can you give a little slow in between the questions please okay 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 yes now 2 v1 means the first velocity 40 second velocity i don't know and v1 plus v2 first velocity is 40 second velocity i don't know average velocity is given already it is 48 so 48 into 40 plus v is equal to 80 v so 48 into 40 plus 48 v is equal to 80 v now v terms has to be taken it to one side 48 fours are 8 fours are 36 32 3 4 fours are 16 adnaru plus muru 192 is equal to 80 minus 48 2 7 minus 4 32 okay that is v now V becomes 192 divided by 30. Okay. So divide it with the 2, 2 1s are, 2 6s are, 2, 2 9s are, 2 6s six are, 6s six are, six, 60 km per hour. Yes, it is 1920. 60 km per hour. V is equal to 60 km per hour is the answer. Okay. 1920 SS. Yes. Okay. A particle shows distance time curve as shown in the figure. The maximum instantaneous velocity of the particle. Um, is around the point where see distance time graph as you know well uh, position time graph also position time graph the slope of the position time graph as you know represents the uniform velocity right okay then here this is not a straight line graph this is a curved graph wherever the curve is taken bends at different points like b it takes c and it takes d there are three points Let's consider what is happening at B. At B, this is the point. You just try to draw a slope. Slope is like this. And at C, the curve is like this, right? I will try to write it. See, the slope looks like this. Just draw a tangent at that point, okay? And D look like this, right? D is like this. And try to draw a tangent here also. And now you see, there are three straight lines. One is B, another one is C, and another one is D. So, which straight line has more slope? Which straight line has more slope? This obviously C has more slope. That's why the instantaneous velocity is represented by the slope of this graph. If slope is more, velocity must be more. Instantaneous velocity uh, maximum at C only. Got the idea? So if there is a curved graph, just write the slopes by looking at the angle of tangents. The maximum slope will have maximum velocity. 
a ball is thrown vertically downwards at a distance of um, 20 meter per uh, second from the top of a tower it hits the ground at after some time with a velocity of 80 meter per second see there is a tower and it is not dropped from the rest remember it is thrown downwards with the initial velocity of 20 meter per second remember it is very careful be careful you are not simply dropping it you are throwing it downwards okay you are throwing it downwards and uh, when it hits the ground its velocity will be 80 meter per second the height of the tower okay so first let's calculate what is the there is initial velocity and there is a final velocity we don't know for how much time the particle is in travel okay and uh, you can directly calculate it is it using v square is equal to u square minus 2 g h right it is now accelerating means v square is equal to u square plus 2 g h okay and uh, we don't know h h is equal to what uh, 2 g h is equal to what v square minus u square so h is equal to v square minus u square by 2g so what is v square uh, final velocity square 8 8, 8, 8 64 6400 minus uh, 20 means 400 divided by 2 times so let's take it as 10 so now this becomes 6000 divided by 20 300 meters the height is 300 meters does question repeat in every year sir not like that it is just to have a basic idea it is just to have an a basic idea what kind of what standard of questions appear um, in the examinations instead of uh, taking random questions like uh, uh, any anything like uh, who is the prime minister of india there are several type of questions like very easiest questions, very direct questions to very involved questions. Uh, for the standard of CET and for the general understanding, what are the type of questions, uh, which are which, what are the basic idea that you must know while solving the problems? That is the important thing to be noticed here. Okay. Questions do not repeat in physics that you must remember. Even though same concept is taken, same formula is to be used, the situations are totally different. Uh, no question is repeated. It's a very, very rare that questions get repeated exactly as it is. Physics have diversified um, bank of questions. You can create questions every year. Okay. Yeah. It's not like biology and chemistry because in biology and chemistry, the concepts are fixed. You cannot have many variations of it, but, but, but in physics, you will have you have you, you will love playing with it. A bus is moving with a speed of 10 meters per second on a straight road. A scooterist wishes to overtake the bus in 100 seconds. If the bus is at a distance of one kilometer from the scooterist, then with what speed should the scooterist should chase the bus? See, there is a bus moving. There is a bus moving with a velocity of u is equal to 10 meter per second. Okay. And here is a scooterist. Okay. And this is scooterist want to overtake the bus in 100 seconds. He want the, he has to do it within 100 seconds. Okay. And if the bus is at a distance of one kilometer from the scooterist, already when he saw the bus, it is already at one kilometer. Okay. With what speed should the scooterist chase the bus? Okay. When he reaches the bus, see if the bus is at rest, he may require some uh, velocity of uh, velocity of the scooterist vs is see he has to travel one kilometer of distance and in 100 seconds so he may get only 10 seconds enough but the situation is not so bus is not at rest bus is moving actually right so in 100 seconds bus will not keep quiet bus will move a further distance so what is the distance traveled by the bus x is equal to Distance traveled by the bus is equal to velocity of the bus into time taken. Velocity of the bus is 10 and the time taken by the bus is 100 seconds. Because in 100 seconds, bus moves a further distance. Now it becomes 1000 meters, means another 1 kilometer. Now the scooterist has to chase, has to cover. 
one kilometer already and another one kilometer the distance the bus has covered adukoskara enagutte illi now en madbekagutte velocity of the now the with what speed is the scooterist should go velocity of the scooterist is total distance x plus x not divided by time x is how much 1000 meters x not is already 1 kilometer so 2 kilometers 2000 meters divided by 100 seconds so this becomes 20 second 20 meter per second so scooterist should chase the bus with 20 meter per second okay in youtube can you name the videos according to the chapter cause it is difficult to find a particular lesson in the videos uh, yes uh, you please ask monish, me, sir, anikesh sir okay uh, monish uh, you have the weekly schedule so you can check the dates accordingly and you can let, get to know the chapter and also once you start the video uh, youtube video the first you get the topics there because like every faculty when they start teaching the start the lecture there will be the topic name on top of that so it's not that uh, hard to find the lectures right okay yes. see if a unit vector is represented by the equation 0.5 i cap 0.8 j cap plus ck ck cap then the value of c is we don't know what is c here we know that every vector can be represented as something x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap right see here to know the magnitude of this vector we have to raise the powers of these x components y components and z components in the square root so if you do this for this vector and uh, this vector will give you 0.5 square plus 0.8 square plus c square in the square root and the magnitude of this given vector is already mentioned because it's a unit vector so its value is 1 so 0.5 means 0.25 is a square term and 0.8 means 0.64 plus c square is equal to uh, square root of one square on both sides you will get one itself so c square is equal to 1 minus 0.25 plus 0.64 is 0.89, right? So c square is 1 minus 0.89. What is 1 minus 0.89? 0.89 कली बेको. So उत्तर लंबा तोरे वन दो, उम्बतर लेन तोरे वन दो, 0.11. So c square is equal to 0.11, or c is equal to root of 0.11. The answer is here B. A person is aiming to reach exactly opposite point on the bank of a stream. He is swimming with a speed of 0.5 meter per second at an angle of 120 degree with the direction of flow of water. Speed of water in the stream is. See the situation is there is a river and the river is flowing with the velocity of v r. Okay, and there is a person and there is a temple here at the opposite side of the bank and he would like he wants to go to the temple directly. if the water is still he would have traveled directly but if since the water is moving in the to the right side if he tries to go upwards the water currents will drag him rightwards that's why there are two vectors acting at the same point vector a vector b if there are two vectors one vector wants to pull the uh, driver or the swimmer vs in the vertical direction and the river wants to pull him in the right towards the direction that's why as a result of this the swimmer will take the diagonal direction means the swimmer will swim in this direction sorry in this direction he swims this is the real direction of the swimmer v is the real direction okay to avoid this see then if he tries to swim he will reach the bank somewhere here illello hogutana ಅವನು ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನದ ಹತ್ರ ಹೋಗೋದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಅದ್ರ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮುಂದೆ ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾನೆ ಸೊ ಟು ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹಿ ಡೂಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಒನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲಿನೇಷನ್ ಹಿ ಸ್ವಿಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಒನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಟ
see i will draw the direction i will draw the diagram again he will now he will swim we are this is the velocity of the swimmer vs and he takes 120 degree with respect to the direction of the velocity of the river his aim is to go straight okay he wants to go straight okay now because the temple is here if vs is this if this entire angle is 120 degree then this angle will be 90 degree right this angle is 90 degree if this angle is 90 degree then this angle must be 30 degree okay if this is vs then what is this called let's consider this triangle o a b triangle o a b means what do you mean by o a o a e is actually vs cos theta right is it vs cos theta or vs sin theta yes vs cos theta it is vs cos theta but what we wanted to know is not oa we want to calculate the speed of water in the stream means we have to calculate this vr we don't know vr vr means what ba ba is actually vs sin theta okay vs we know the velocity of the swimmer is 0.5 meter per second sin of theta means 30 degree not 120 degree be careful 120 degree is the whole angle but with respect to this particular oa this angle will be 30 degree only that's why 0.5 is half sin 30 degree is how much sin 30 degree is 1 by 1 by 2 or root 3 by 2 it is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 this becomes 1 by 4 1 by 4 means 0.25 meter per second that is the velocity of this river we are is 0.25 meter per second the speed of a projectile at its maximum height is half of its initial speed speed of a projectile is at max e at its maximum height is half of its initial speed see there is a projectile projectile is thrown like this you know and projectile makes an angle theta with respect to the horizontal this is u actually okay and speed of this projectile u becomes half of its initial speed at the maximum height at the maximum height what happens this becomes u by 2 that's what is given okay u by 2 yes angle of projection is how much okay what is this u by 2 you know that whenever projectile is thrown into space u is getting divided into three uh, two equal parts uh, two components one vertical component we call it as u sin theta and another uh, horizontal component we call it as u cos theta u sin theta changes accordingly the direction of the projectile as projectile goes upwards its velocity decreases u sin theta also decreases its velocity reaches the maximum and comes back u sin theta has accelerated motion u sin theta is not a constant velocity it is accelerated whereas u cos theta moves forward with the same velocity because u cos theta is uniform in nature what happens to u sin theta is gravitational force attracts the particle downwards that's why u sin theta is subjected to acceleration because gravity is there to oppose the motion of u sin theta but for u cos theta there is nothing called horizontal gravitation in the earth right so that's why u cos theta is constant it is uniform since it is uniform at all points here here at the maximum height here 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 at all the points u cos theta is same hence at maximum point or any point u cos theta is always u cos theta itself now at maximum point u by 2 is equal to u cos theta right and u you get cancel cos theta is equal to 1 by 2 so theta is equal to 60 degree right because cos 60 is half a particle moves in a circle of radius 5 cm with a constant speed and a time period is 0.25 seconds the acceleration of the particle is 
see here there is a particle which is moving in the radius circular motion uniform circular motion problem and the radius is 5 cm constant speed with which it is going around v i don't know the uh, we, it is not even the time period is 0.2 pi seconds okay acceleration of the particle is to be calculated see for uniform circular motion you know the centripetal acceleration is always directed towards the center if the particle is moving in uniform circular motion the velocity is constant but, but uh, see even though velocity the not velocity even though the speed is constant velocity is not constant because the direction of velocity changes at every instant of time since velocity changes there is acceleration so and how and in what terms the acceleration of uniform circular motion given it is given by v square by r right velocity the speed is the the value of speed squared by radius we also know that the linear velocity v and the angular velocity omega are connected by this equation and hence we can write it as v square means r omega whole square divided by r so this becomes r square omega square by r this becomes omega square into r so a is equal to omega square into r but what is omega actually omega is actually 2 pi by t right omega is theta by t you remember for one complete oscillation 2 pi is the theta and for one complete oscillation one common complete rotation capital t time period is the uh, time so that's why omega is equal to 2 pi by t we should know this also so let's substitute to omega means omega square into r means 4 pi square by t square okay omega square means okay now acceleration of the particle is omega square into r means 4 pi square by t square into r what is 4 pi square 4 pi square let's keep it as it is because in the t term there is 0.2 pi right 0.2 pi square into r so 4 pi square divided by 0.2 means 0.04 it becomes 0.04 r 4 into 10 to the power of minus 2 into pi square pi square pi square get cancelled 4 4 will also get cancelled radius is 5 cm 5 into 10 to the power of minus 2 now 10 to the power of minus 2 will also get cancelled now this becomes 5 ones are 5 5 meter per second square a is equal to because 4 4 get cancelled 10 to the power of minus 2 minus 2 get cancelled 10 to the power of um, minus 2 get cancelled only 5 remains 5 meter per second square is the answer a body of mass 3 kg hits a wall against um, and returns let's see i cannot see this okay at an angle of 60 degree and and returns at the same angle okay impact time was 0.2 seconds impact time was 0.2 seconds and uh, force exerted on the wall is a body of mass m is 3 kg okay is it 3 kg yes 3 kg okay see what is happening the particle comes at an angle of making 60 degree with respect to the vertical when the particle enters like this let's take what is its horizontal component when particle enters with the velocity v the its horizontal its horizontal component will become if this angle is 60 then this angle will be 30 okay then v this becomes v cos theta theta is 30 degree remember not v is the 60 degree with respect to the vertical the remaining angle we will take okay v cos 30 v cos theta comes forward and when the particle hits the wall and it goes making the same angle 60 degree then this angle will also be 30 degree again this v goes with the same uh, so, uh, i think in in this question the it is given reverse in reverse first it comes 
from the upper side and to goes to the downer side no problem whatever be the case this becomes v this is also v then this becomes v cos theta okay mm, so to uh, let's let there be no confusions we will follow as the diagram is given okay okay first the particle enters the hits the wall okay this is theta or you can directly take it as v if this is v if this is theta then this becomes v cos theta then the horizontal component is v sin theta if you take 60 degree at itself as theta okay 60 degree itself as theta v sin theta comes forward and when the same particle hits the wall and goes away with the angle 60 degree again then here also 60 degree and this becomes v cos theta and this thing is v sin theta see the direction of v sin theta and v sin theta in two cases v sin theta comes to the right side in the first case v sin theta goes back to the left side in the second case then what is the change in v what is the change in v that is v1 minus of minus 2 that is nothing but v1 plus v2 because the direction of v2 changes delta v is actually v1 plus v2 and what is the impact time impact time is delta t impact time is delta t delta t is nothing but 0.2 seconds then what is the force exerted force exerted is actually delta p divided by delta t change in momentum by time let's write it as m into delta v divided by delta t because momentum means what mass into change in velocity here mass remains the same but the velocity changes so mass into velocity by time so what is mass here 3 kg what is velocity change in velocity v1 plus v2 means 2 v sin theta divided by delta t is 0.2 so it is 3 to the 6 v is what um do you know what is the velocity returns at the same angle impact time was 0.2 seconds force exerted on the wall is how much okay at an angle of 60 degree returns with the same angle impact time is given okay so it is two times so force exerted is f into time f into t change in momentum let's calculate change in momentum m into delta v v is not given fortunately let's write it as 2 times uh, v into sin theta is sin 60 sin 60 is root 3 by 2 2 to get cancel and point 2 so this becomes 6 root 3 by point 2 2 into 10 to the power of minus 1 60 by 2 that is 30 root 3 but the velocity is not given right no it is not 3 it is uh, sorry 2 v sin theta 2 to get cancel this become this remains 3 itself it is 30 divided by 2 30 divided by 2 means 15 yes 30 by 2 is 15 root 3 or 150 root 3 yes is coming as 15 root 3 if the velocity is 10 then this becomes 150 root 3 the velocity is not mentioned let's go for this an explosion breaks a rock v is 10 
ओके 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 लेट सी यस यस वी इज टेन गिवन यस 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 सो यू वांट दिस क्वेश्चन टू बी एक्सप्लेन अगेन ओके सी द पार्टिकल फर्स्ट कम्स फ्रॉम द टॉप साइड फ्रॉम द अपर साइड वी विल रिजॉल्व दिस इनटू कंपोनेंट्स if this is coming like this then its component in this triangle if you observe this triangle in this triangle this adjacent side is v cos theta this horizontal this vertical this horizontal side is v sin theta okay and if this is coming to the right side then this will be coming to the forward direction this is v sin theta when it goes back moving making the same angle with respect to this then v cos theta will be in the downward direction only here also v cos theta was in the same direction but v sin theta was in this direction will be in this direction because when it goes like this v sin theta will be in this direction okay then what is the change in velocity change in velocity is v1 minus of minus v2 okay because v2 is opposite to v1 so v1 minus of minus v2 is v1 plus v2 that is nothing but 2 v1 v2 athwa 2 2 v1 so change in momentum to the change in time mass into change in velocity by time change in velocity is 2 v by sin theta 2 v sin theta 3 into 3 is mass 2 v sin theta because v sin theta is the velocity right 2 times v sin theta divided by 0.2 and uh, v is 10 v is 10 it is given in the diagram itself okay and uh, 15 v root 3 means it is uh, 15 into 10 into root 3 that is 150 root 3 newtons okay i have not seen this uh, velocity okay it's my mistake yes an explosion breaks a rock into three pieces um in a horizontal plane two of them go off at right angles to each other okay there is a block of mass let's say capital m and this breaks into three parts one part goes upwards or um, in one direction along y axis another particle goes along x axis and the third particle goes in which direction the first part of mass 1 kg 1 m1 is 1 kg and uh, uh, moves with a speed of moves with the speed of 12 meter per second next and second part of the mass 2 kg a second part has mass 2 kg and the velocity is uh, 8 meter per second third part flies off with 4 meter per second moorne part 4 meter per second alli hodare then its mass is adar mass is 2 ಮೂರನೇ ಪಾರ್ಟಿನ ಮಾಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಅದನ್ನ ಎಂ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀನಿ ಇದರ ಮಾಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಇದರ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರು ಎಂ ವಿ ತ್ರೀ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಫೋರ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಪರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಎಂ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಮೂರನೇ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ನೋಡಿ ಈಗ ನೋಡಿ ಮೊಮೆಂಟಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕನ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಯು ನೋ ಮೊಮೆಂಟಮ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ರಿವ್ಯೂಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಕೋಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಗೋ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ಮೊಮೆಂಟಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಸೋ here the particle is having perpendicular uh, breaking that's why if suppose there are two parts breaking perpendicularly anta ittukondre one part ikade innond part ikade hogutte andre ee erada resultant illu hogutte anta because we have to take consider them as vectors if you take vector a if this as vector a and this as vector b then this diagonal will represent the resultant vector c okay this is the resultant direction of first part and the second part hagidre moorne part to idakke equal and opposite agi hogutte the third part moves equal and opposite to the resultant of first part and second part okay this is our m3 okay so now m3 v3 this is our m3 let's write that m3 v3 is equal to resultant of m1 and m2 okay so m1 v1 square plus m2 v2 square in a resultant agirutte adu square root in the square root because you know c is actually a square plus b square if this is a and this is b 
M1 V1 is the first part. M2 V2 is the second part. M1 is 1 kg. V1 is 12 square plus what is M2? M2 is 2 and uh, M V2 is 8 square. M3 V3 in the square root. So this becomes uh, 12, 12 is a 144 plus 8 to the 16, 16, 16 is a 256. So this will be 6 plus 4, 10, 4 plus 5, 9, 1, 400. Root of 400 means 20. So this is your M3 with, we don't know M3. M3 is 20 by V3. So 20 is the resultant momentum. V3 we don't know. We do you know S4, 4 fives are, right? 5 kg. So first part goes with 1 kg, 12 meter per second. Second part will go 2 kg with 8 meter per second. Third part will be the 5 kg and it will go with 4 meter per second. And that is that makes the total mass of that particle is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5. 8 kg was the original mass of this block. Okay. <laughs> A block of mass M in, is in contact with the cart C as shown in the figure. Coefficient of static friction between the block and the cart is mu. The acceleration alpha of the curve that will pre prevent the block from stay falling satisfies what? See, a particle is, a body is in motion with an acceleration A means there is a pseudo acceleration acting in the opposite direction. You, we call it as A dash, A star, okay? A star is the pseudo acceleration. Means this pseudo acceleration will push the objects against the wall of this body. If there is a block of mass, if suppose if the block is at rest and there is a block which is, you, you, are, you are trying to put a wooden block against the wall and you just release your hand, the block will fall down because of gravitational force. But when the same body is in motion, the same body is in motion, then this will be having an acceleration and another acceleration called A star will be acting opposite to the original direction of A and that will hold this wooden block against the um, cart C, okay, cart C, it will again, it will hold the wooden block, it is just as if you are holding the wooden block with your hands, okay. You are holding it against the block, against the wall like this. It looks like this. This is the acceleration A star. This A star will prevent it by falling. Okay, right. Now, what is the force acting on the block? Let's see. The force acting on the block, which is trying to pull it aside, is G, Mg, right? Mg. Mg is the force acting downwards, trying to it downwards, pull it downwards, but which is avoiding it, the frictional force between this wooden block and the cart C is avoiding it. It is Fs. Fs is opposite to your Mg. Okay. Then what is the definition of Fs? Fs is uh, the applied force. When the applied force, applied force F must be greater than or equal to your Fs max for the friction to uh, to be explained fs max fs max athwa innu chana helbekappa antandre fs max is given by fs max is given by fs max is less than or equal to mu r anta karithivi correct mu r what is r r is the normal reaction which holds the object firmly to the surface so that is your less than or equal to fsm is mu times what is this r r is nothing but the mass of the body and alpha because the horizontal acceleration which holds the block into the place of the, the to the surface of the cart c is a star 
here it is in case it is alpha itself because the cart is moving with an acceleration alpha the opposite uh, fictional um, acceleration will also be alpha m into alpha that keeps the block into its place mu into m alpha okay see what is which is the force which is trying to move these objects the force which is trying to move these objects is the external force that is your mg okay mm will get cancelled so what is your alpha alpha is greater than or equal to now the the quantities change their size greater than or equal to g divided by mu according to this equation okay this is the answer <laughs> yes two masses as shown in the figure are suspended from a massless pulley the acceleration of the system when masses are left to free is see this is a free body diagram problem uh, for those who don't know what do you mean by free body diagram i will try to explain how it is to be done see this is a complicated system it is a pulley and it, the strings and the pulley are uh, assumed to be massless there are two particles hanging around the first rule says separate the quantities separate the bodies from the system individually okay i will take 10 grams 10 gram i am separating from the system and first 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 part is the first step is to separate the bodies from the system individually yes i have separated it and locate the forces acting on the body so first rule says isolate the bodies to separate the bodies second step says free body diagram nalli second step eno isolate madid mele identify identify forces identify the forces eradne bhagadalli identify the forces idra mele act aagthira force gulu yav yavudu anta nodu first force yavudappa mg ಅದು ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಇದ್ದಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಇದ್ದದ್ದೇ ಅದು ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾನೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಅವಾಯ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಟು ಗೋ ಫ್ರೀಲಿ ಡೌನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇದನ್ನ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ನೋಡಿ ದಾರ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ರೆ ಎಂ ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಬಾಡಿ ಬಟ್ ದಾರ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಪ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಗ್ರಾವಿಟಿ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಟೆನ್ಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಟೆನ್ಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಟು ಫಾಲ್ ಫ್ರೀಲಿ it is avoiding the body's motion that's why tension is the force acting upwards now even though there are two forces are in action if the even though there is there are two forces acting on the body of 10 grams let's call it as m1 okay m1 mele erdu force act aagtidru kuda the whole system is moving downwards only right the whole system idi entire system en aagtide kelagade hogtade because 10 gram is heavier ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಿದೆ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಿ ನೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ಟು ಟು ಗ್ರಾವಿಟಿ ಫ್ರೀ ಆಗಿ ಒಂದ್ ಕಲ್ ಬಿದ್ದಂಗ್ ಬೀಳ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದು ತುಂಬಾ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಸ್ಲೋ ಆಗಿ ಇದೆ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲರೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಅದನ್ನೇ ಅವ್ರು ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಿದ್ರೆ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಎಂ ಎ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಎ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಏನಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ನಾವು ವಿಚ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಗ್ಗರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ T ಅನ್ನೋದೊಂದು ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಎಂ ಜಿ ಅನ್ನೋದೊಂದು ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಜಿ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿಗ್ಗರ್ ಯಾವುದು ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಗ್ಗರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೋಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಜಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನನಗೆ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಎ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಎ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಜಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟಿ ಇದನ್ನ ಒಂದ್ ಕಡೆ ಬರೆದಿಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬಾಡಿನ ಐಸೋಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ನನಗೊಂದು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಬಾಡಿನ ಐಸೋಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಐಸೋಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ let's call it as m2 okay 5 grams m2 is the body so idinu separate madidini idinu separate madadage enagutte first force which is acting on this body is this is m2 g yake anthe helidre yaar illade hodru yaar bitrunu g antu kelagade ibrunu heliyutare so m2 g is downwards but idinna kelagade beeliddidange obbre yaro avoid maartta idare that is the tension in the string again the same string is pulling this upwards ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಎರಡು ಇಕ್ವೇಶ್ ಎರಡು ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಈ ಅಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದ್ರು ಕೂಡ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಎಂ ಟು ಆಸ್ ಎ ಹೋಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲರೇಷ
ಈ ಪುಲಿ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಟರ್ನ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಈ ತರ ಹೋಗ್ತಿದ್ಯಲ್ಲ ಈ ತರ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಟರ್ನ್ ಆಗ್ತಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಈ ತರ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಹೆವಿಯರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ ಲೈಟರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ಸೊ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲ್ರೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಫೈವ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲ್ರೇಷನ್ ಹಾಗಿದ್ರೆ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಬಾಡಿಗೆ ಈಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಏನ್ ಬರಬೇಕು ನಾನು ಎಂ ಟು ಎ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಹೈಯರ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಹೈಯರ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಟಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎಂ ಟು ಜಿ ಇವಾಗ ಈ ಎರಡು ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ಮಾಡಿ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಏನ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾ ಎ ಎ ಒಂದ್ ಕಡೆ ಬರ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಎರಡನ್ನು ಒಂದ್ ಕಡೆ ಆಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬರ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರು ನಡೆಯುತ್ತೆ ಅಥವಾ ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಗೆನೆ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಗೆ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ನ ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಏನಪ್ಪಾ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಜಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಎ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಟಿ ಗೆ ಟಿ ಗೆ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಂ ಟು ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಂ ಟು ಜಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಂ ಟು ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಂ ಟು ಜಿ ಸೊ ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಎ ಸಾರಿ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಜಿ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಜಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಂ ಟು ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಂ ಟು ಜಿ ಇವಾಗ ಜಿ ಗಳನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಒಂದ್ ಕಡೆಗೆ ಎ ಗಳನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಒಂದ್ ಕಡೆಗೆ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಸೊ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಜಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎಂ ಟು ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಂ ಟು ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಎ ಅಥವಾ ಜಿ ಕಾಮನ್ ತೆಗೆದ್ರೆ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎಂ ಟು ಇನ್ ಟು ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಂ ಟು ಇನ್ ಟು ಎ ಸೊ ವಿ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಎ ರೈಟ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎಂ ಟು ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಂ ಟು ಇನ್ ಟು ಜಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ವೆನ್ ಅವರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪುಲಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೂ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗಿವನ್ ದೆನ್ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎಂ ಟು ಜಿ ಬೈ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಂ ಟು ಹೌ ಟು ನೋ ವಿಚ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಹೆವಿಯರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಲೈಟರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಎಂ ಟು ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎಂ ಟು ಓಕೆ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಎಸ್ ದ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಎಸ್ ದ ಎಂ ಟು ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಎಂ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಂ ಟು ಓಕೆ ರೈಟ್ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಎಂ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಹೆವಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಟೆನ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎಂ ಟು ಈಸ್ ಲೈಟರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಫೈವ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟೆನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಜಿ ಈಸ್ ಜಿ ಟೆನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಫೈವ್ ಬೈ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಈಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಜಿ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಈಸ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜಿ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಿ ಓಕೆ ದ ರೂಲ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಐಸೋಲೇಟ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಐಸೋಲೇಟ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಐಸೋಲೇಟ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಎ ಅಂಡ್ ಜಿ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಲ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಓಕೆ a bullet of mass 10 grams leaves the rifle at an angle at an initial velocity of 1000 meter per second initial velocity is 1000 meter per second bullets with the initial velocity and strikes the earth at the same level with a velocity of 500 meter per second see and the bullet is fired and uh, it reaches the earth at the same level and um, with a velocity of v u it is fired with u it is fired and with v it reaches the um, earth work done in joule for overcoming the resistance of air will be. so work done we have to calculate how much
common thing and um, 500 square okay 500 square na common tag rest appa barutte 500 square is 1 minus uh, 1000 by square by 500 square that is 1000 by 500 2 times square that is 4 1 minus 4 okay so i will show you how i did this 1000 by 500 whole square okay then this becomes 10 by 2 is 5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 500 square is 25 0 0 0 0 okay and 1 minus 4 1 minus 4 is minus 3 that is 25 3 is and this becomes uh, uh, 25 into 3 is 75 75 into 5 what is 75 into 5 25 uh, either more 3750 3, so 375 375 into 10 to the power of 4 into 10 to the power minus will come into 10 to the power of minus 3 and this gives you another 10 so this becomes minus 3750 this is your work done June. Negative sign indicates that the work done is negative, means energy is lost. Okay. A particle is projected making an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal having a kinetic energy K. There is a projectile. Uh, it, is not, it is not given directly that it is a projectile, but there is a particle projected making an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal means it is a projectile only. Uh, it's having a kinetic energy K. Okay. Let's call U is the initial velocity of this body. And uh, this moves on and follows the path of a parabola and um, follows the dynamics of a projectile motion. And at the highest point, the kinetic energy at the highest point, kinetic energy at the highest point. Okay, this is U. K, K is the initial kinetic energy with velocity U. What happens to U? What happens to U at the highest point? U becomes U cos theta at the highest point, you know. Because projectile motion, you know, the horizontal component of the velocity will not change. So, your U cos theta is the changed velocity here. What is the kinetic energy at this point? Let's call it as K dash. K dash is M by 2 into U dash square. What is U dash? U cos theta. M by 2 into U cos theta whole square. That is M U square by 2 into cos square theta. M U square by 2 is K itself because you know K is the initial kinetic energy. What is cos theta squared cos 45 degrees squared? Cos 45 degrees 1 by root 2 whole square. That is 1 by 2. K by 2 is the answer. K dash is K by 2. <laughs> the potential energy of a system increases if work is done. See, work is to be done and work done must increase the potential energy. Let's take the example of Earth's gravitational force field where gravitational force is a conservative force and there is a block of mass m and if you lift it to a height of h, its potential energy will increase. This you know. Okay. See, let's check the options. Upon the system means on the system by a non-conservative force Non-conservative force means frictional force, viscous force like that. So it's not so. Well, uh, potential energy may not increase, may increase, may not increase in the non-conservative force field. Uh, by the system against a conservative force. By the system means the particle itself cannot move to a highest point, higher point by its own. Uh, it, uh, in the case of gases, they will convert their internal energy and they will work by the system. The work will be done by the system. But here in this in such cases, there are no conservative forces in order over there. Uh, here, by the system against a conservative force, no. 
by the system against a non conservative force no upon the system means you have to do the force you have to do the work by a conservative force und conservative force ninda adra mele work aitu ant helidre potential energy increase agutte so the option d is the right answer a mass of 0.5 kg moving with the speed of 1.5 meter per second on a horizontal smooth surface collides with a nearly weightless spring of force constant k is equal to 15 newton per meter the maximum compression of the spring would be nodrappa illi ondu mass m ide m 0.5 kg adu chalustta ide adu ondu spring anna compress madutte adana spring ig padibuttu spring udda idda spring sanna agutte it compresses okay spring compress aagbeku andre potential energy must be stored in the spring okay alli yen agutte ant helidre the kinetic energy of the body is getting converted into potential energy of the spring potential energy of the spring age convert agutte kinetic energy of the body kinetic energy of the body getting converted into potential energy of the spring means ille potential energy of the spring is equal to kinetic energy of the block potential energy of the spring is k x square by 2 is equal to kinetic energy is mv square by 2 to get cancelled x is we don't know x square is mv square by k athava x is equal to root of m by k into v horagade ಈಗ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ರೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಕೆ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಪರ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಇದನ್ನ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ರೂಟ್ ತಗೋಬಹುದು ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಪರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇದೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಷ್ಟಾಗತ್ತೆ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಫೈವ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಫೈವ್ ಇನ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಇದು ಫೈವ್ ಬೈ ಟೆನ್ so this becomes 5 by 500 this becomes 1 by 100 okay so 1 by 100 root of 1 by 100 agut into 3 by 2 so this becomes 1 by 10 so 3 by 20 ait okay 3 by 20 andre 0.15 meters one pulley takes one minute to rise a suitcase through a height of 2 meters and uh, but the second pulley takes 30 seconds to rise the same suitcase to the same height on the height ge obbu pulley 30 second alli bara ayitane ade height ge eradne pulley eshtu time tagoltane ante powers of the takes 30 seconds one minute so first pulley will take 60 seconds one minute thagutare second pulley takes 30 seconds what are the powers power means work done by time right so p1 by p2 if you take the ratio work were done by the pulley 1 w1 by t1 divided by w2 by t2 so work done is here in this case same mass is lifted same mass is lifted m m to the same height so mgh work done is mgh w1 is equal to w2 is equal to mgh both will get cancelled so the ratio becomes t2 by t1 right t2 by t1 that is uh, t2 is 30 seconds by 60 seconds 1 by 2 that is 1 is to 2 p1 by p2 is 1 is to 2 two particles of mass 5 kg and 10 kg respectively are attached to the two ends of a rigid rod of length 1 meter there are two particles this is a center of mass problem and uh, negligible mass 1 meter of negligible okay. the rod has no mass center of mass of the system from the 5 kg particle and the first particle 5 kg particle 10 kg particle from the first particle so let's fix the origin here let's fix the origin if you fix the origin center of mass let's say it is at somewhere here at a distance of um, what is the length of the rod uh, two ends of rigid one meter length one meter length we don't know let's call that distance as x centimeters x meters from the first part from the uh, remaining part this becomes one minus x 
okay okay so now the formula is xcm is equal to means the position of center of mass is m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by m1 plus m2 sir once again previous question explain yav the previous question no power problem ah power da okay power andre indro power andre work done by time thane ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಬ್ಬ ಕೂಲಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಮಾಸ್ ನ ಯಾವ ಹೈಟಿಗೆ ಎತ್ತಾನೋ ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬ ಕೂಲಿ ಅದನ್ನ ಅದೇ ಹೈಟಿಗೆ ಎತ್ತಾನೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಎಂ ಸೇಮ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಇಬ್ರು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ವರ್ಕ್ ಡನ್ ಬೈ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಡನ್ ಬೈ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ತಗೊಂಡಿರೋ ಟೈಮ್ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಇದೆ ಇವನು ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಎತ್ತಿದಾನೆ ಇವನು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸ್ಲೋ ಆಗಿ ಎತ್ತಿದಾನೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಪಿ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಪಿ ಟು ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ವರ್ಕ್ ಬೈ ಟೈಮ್ ಒನ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಬೈ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ಸೊ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟಿ ಟು ಬೈ ಟಿ ಒನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಬೈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಹಾಫ್ ನೀವು ಯಾವ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದೀರಿ ಇದ್ರದ್ದು ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದೀರಾ ಯಾವ್ದ್ರದ್ದು ಇದ್ರದ್ದು ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇದನ್ನ ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದೀರಾ ಓಕೆ ಆಯ್ತು ಇದನ್ನು ಒಂದ್ಸರಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೇಲ್ಗಡೆಯಿಂದ ಒಂದು ಕಲ್ ಬಿದ್ದು ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಸಣ್ಣ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಕಲ್ ಬಿದ್ಬಿಟ್ರು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಯಾವ್ದ್ರದ್ದು ಬಾಡಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಅದು ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನ ಟಚ್ ಮಾಡುವ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನು ಯಾವ ತರ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇದೆ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಮೇಲ್ಗಡೆಯಿಂದ ಬೀಳೋದಾಗಿದ್ರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎರಡು ಇರ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಅದು ಅಡ್ಡ ಬರ್ತಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಇದೆ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಇರೋದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸೊ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಇದಕ್ಕಿರೋ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಈ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕಂಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಆಗೋದು ಒಂದು ಅರ್ಥ ಏನು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿನ ತುಂಬೋದು ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಕಂಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನ ಹಂಗೆ ಒತ್ತಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅದ್ರೊಳಗಡೆ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಕೂಡ್ಲೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಹೇಳಿ ಚಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ನೆಗೆದು ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅದ್ರೊಳಗಡೆ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಅಂತ ಅದ್ರೊಳಗಡೆ ಎನರ್ಜಿನ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ತಾನೆ ಸೊ ವರ್ಕ್ ಡನ್ ಅಪಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ದ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಅಂಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಡನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ನ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಓಕೆ ಮಾಸ್ ಆ ಮಾಸ್ ನ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿಯೇ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಗಿ ಸೇವ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಆ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ನ ಸಾರಿ ಮಾಸ್ ನ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಎಂ ವಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಅವ್ರು ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಇರೋದೇನು ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಕಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅರ್ಧಂಬರ್ಧ ಕಂಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣ ಕಂಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಇನ್ನ ಕಂಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಆಗಕ್ಕೆ ಏನು ಉಳಿದಿಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದರ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣವಾಗಿ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಹಿಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ದೆನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಕಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಅಕ್ಕರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಎಂ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಕಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಅದು ರೂಟ್ ಎಂ ಬೈ ಕೆ ಇಂಟು ವಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ಎಂ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್
3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4, 12, 3, 5, 15, 3, 6, 18. Right? That is the closest answer. So, 6.6 meters. 0.67 meters. That is the point six 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 so, Nima XCM Aravatel centimeter Durdali. Or in the first particle in the question in a second particle in the Sturdali then the Kilde in Marco. Origin in a ill fix model. Origin in a second body ill fix model pendo, either Marco, XCM ill. Avang nodi, origin ill, origin in a left side of the Vella Uno. XCM is equal to uh, M1 is the first body itself, it is zero plus plus a minus. M2 second body at a distance of one, uh, one meters and divided by uh, M1 plus M2 that is 10 plus 5. Okay. Second body is 10 into 1 divided by 10 plus 5 is 15. Allah, sorry. Second body is 5 kg. It is not 10. It is 5. 5 by 15. That is 1 by 3. So XCM is 1 by 3. That is 0.33333. Means 0.333 barate. Alike 63 mu 1 meters. So remaining distance is 33 centimeters. Okay. Find the torque about the origin when a force of 3 J cap uh, Newton acts on a particle whose position vector is 2K. Okay. So a torque is F cross R. FR sin theta. Ili no day, four so J cap. Ili the four so J cap and then X axis nal, Y axis nal. Particle whose position vector is two K cap and E position of the particle low, uh, Adu K cap nali, K cap and third Z axis nal. Alleged er perpendicular aita, the angle between F and R is ninety degree. Alleged FR sin ninety degree aita. Alleged FR aita. Tau is equal to FR. F is 3, I do 2, that is 6. Sorry, how is the torque in a direction? You use the right hand screw rule. You use the F cross R and the other one. You use the turn. F cross R. Again, the right hand screw rule. The right hand thumb rule. The right hand thumb rule. See, this is the Sorry, right hand thumb rule F cross R alva. F cross R and there. New wing it. Right hand thumb rule. Allega uh, R cross sorry. F cross R and there. E riti breath. Nama Thor barely in a direction now do it. Yes, this is F cross R. F is coming to R. R cross F. Tau is equal to R cross F. Alwa. Yes, yes, yes. Tau is equal to R cross F. Means you have to take this right hand. R cross F. And there is hint of Not like this. Yes, this is R cross F. This is the direction of R cross F. And this is the direction. So, I cap. 6 I Newton. 6 I cap Newton meter. Means in the direction of positive X axis. Not negative X. Negative X axis is also there to confuse us. Right? We should not take it. Because R cross F means R is there. F is there. And R F is there. R F कड़े होगा तेंद्र नम्मा direction of curling direction of rotation याव कड़े करवाको नम्मा तोर ब्रेड को ले लिया तबे आले कड़े करवाको right hand के तो पढ़ा दे okay like this R cross F this is the direction of tau a solid sphere of mass m and radius r is rotating about its diameter उन दो solid solid sphere other diameter axis it can do like this. And uh, a solid cylinder of the same mass and same radius 
sir where will you share this file i will share this with aniket sir aniket sir okay and um, solid cylinder of same mass and the same radius also rotating about its geometrical axis so about its geometrical axis the cylinder is also rotating and uh, with the same angular speed twice that of the sphere see omega dash is 2 2 omega if this is omega the ratio of their kinetic energies of rotation okay kinetic energy of a rotating body is given by half i omega square this is the formula where i is the uh, moment of inertia of the body here there are two bodies one is a sphere sphere is having the moment of inertia 2 by 5 mr square r is the radius of the sphere and ic is the cylinder's moment of inertia cylinder's moment of inertia is mr square by 2 okay and uh, kinetic energy let's solve for it and the radius of both are same it is given and i think um yes rotating about solid cylinder of the same mass and same radius mass of the both uh, bodies are same and um, radius is also same so kinetic energy 1 divided by kinetic energy 2 is equal to half i omega square this let's call it as is omega square divided by ic uh, omega dash square so is by ic let's do it is means sphere 2 by 5 mr square into omega square divided by uh, 1 by 2 mr square omega square is 2 omega whole square so everything is getting cancelled 2 by 5 into 2 into omega square omega square will also get cancelled that is becomes that is becoming 1 by 4 1 by 2 square so 2 to the 4 4 4 get cancelled that is 1 by 5 so answer of k1 by k2 is 1 by 5 that is 1 is 2 by moment of inertia of a thin uniform rod of mass m and length l there is a uniform rod of mass m and length l about an axis passing through its midpoint is i not so if it rotates like this then its moment of inertia is i not okay if it rotates like this and its moment of inertia about an axis passing through its one of its ends if you instead try to rotate this rod keeping your axis of rotation here at the one of the ends then what will be the rotation what will be the moment of inertia they are asking okay previous question repeat sir which previous question <laughs> this one okay see is any bodies kinetic energy is given by this equation k is equal to half i omega square i is the moment of inertia okay there are two bodies first body is sphere its moment of inertia is 2 by 5 mr square Uh, for sphere for uh, cylinders for um, uh, rectangular blocks for rods the formula is there the uh, different formula are, are there but do uh, the most important bodies are these spheres discs and uh, rods uh, for them you should always know the dimension the moment of inertia okay moment of inertia of the sphere is 2 by 5 mr square momentum of uh, inertia of a cylinder is mr square by 2 okay now k1 by k2 they are asking so i omega square i omega square and the rotation of the cylinder is two times the rotation of the sphere and if you solve it you will get 1 by 5 okay then uh, this uh, m uh, this i omega square is the kinetic energy equation is just like kinetic energy of a body is half mv square for a small particle if a particle is going straight then if it is having a mass m and v is the velocity straight moving bodies are, are having kinetic energy equation half mass means inertia 
velocity of the straight going body square here we are talking about the rotating bodies right rotating bodies have not mass as the inertia they have moment of inertia they have inertia and their velocity is not the linear velocity as usual it is the rotational angular velocity we have to consider so instead of v square we will take omega square half is half the same equation here kinetic energy of a rotating body kinetic energy of a kinetic energy of a rotating body kinetic energy of a straight line moving body linear body linear moving body okay the form of the equation is same here moment of inertia here mamuli inertia okay okay now the rod is rotating about its end if you remember perpendicular axis theorem perpendicular axis theorem says if a body is having uh, a center of moment of inertia i not about an axis passing through its center perpendicular to its plane then the if you want to take the moment of inertia about any other axis i separated at a distance of x from the central axis then what is the moment of inertia about this i is in, is given by i not plus mass of the body into perpendicular distance between the two bodies right square of the perpendicular distance between the two bodies see okay see there is a book if you try to rotate the book keeping the axis at the center i not is the moment of inertia now if you try to rotate the book keeping a stick here inserting a stick here at the edges and try to rotate it becomes difficult then what is the moment of inertia moment of inertia of this body becomes i is equal to the original moment of inertia as you know from the center i not plus what is the distance between your previous direction and the present direction that is a perpendicular distance between them that we call it as x so i not into a mass of the book into x square okay using this we will see that mass of the body is m mass of the rod is m length of the rod is l and what is the moment of inertia about this center passing then this becomes i is equal to i not plus mass of the rod into what is the distance between the center of the rod to the edge of the rod that is l by 2 right l by 2 whole square so now your i becomes i not plus m l square by 4 okay here option b is there a disk is rotating with angular speed omega if a child sits on it there is a disk okay on tatte ide appo a tatte tirukta ide it is rotating with a angular velocity omega a child sits on it means some some mass is put on the body what will happen it will slow down it will slow down means what will change here nothing will change its angular momentum remains same its rotational speed will decrease earlier when the child is not sitting its moment its angular momentum is let's call it as l1 when child sits its angular momentum is l2 okay when mass of the body is m1 velocity omega m omega m y m omega square into r what is m v r m v r right m v r means m v r is the original equation for angular momentum m1 v1 r1 is equal to m2 v2 r2 what is m1 m1 is m1 itself what is v1 r1 omega 1 into r1 is equal to m2 r2 omega 2 r2 that is m1 omega 1 r1 square m2 omega 2 r2 square here m1 and m2 are not same because in the earlier only disk mass was there and now the mass of the disk is changed r1 and r2 are same because the radius of the disk is not changed after sitting of the after the boy sits on it so m1 omega 1 is equal to m2 omega 2 if m2 is bigger what will be the omega 
see omega 1 will change it has to change omega 1 was higher m m1 was smaller so omega 2 is equal to m1 omega 1 divided by m2 m2 is bigger no that's why denominator bigger means omega 2 must be smaller that's why the rotational speed decreases but here what we should understand is whatever must change the angular momentum will not change angular momentum does not change it is conserved linear momentum not conserved kinetic energy earlier kinetic energy i i will remain same omega s will change that's why kinetic energy will not remain same potential energy may not also remain same but angular momentum will remain same but you don't get confused because omega 2 changes slow agutte idu slow agutte en matrakke illi eno dodda anavuthe en agudilla angular momentum same irutte angular momentum modlu jaasti irutte athwa aamal kadme irutte hagala angular momentum modlu eshte irutto aamalinu ashte irutte angular velocity matra change agutte idu constant iradukoskarane change agutte the period of revolution of a planet gravitation gona the period of revolution of a planet a around the sun is 8 times that of b distance of a from the sun is how many times greater than that of b from the sun nodra ba ondu sun mattu planet system ide andre adu kon formula ide nodi kepler's third law helutte eno time period na square of a planet is directly proportional to distance of the planet from the star na cube ge samavagirutte anta heltana correct t square is directly proportional to a cube adanna now t square is equal to a constant into a cube anta barkana t1 is equal to constant into a1 cube t2 square is equal to constant into a2 cube anta barkana allige namage period of revolution of the planet a around the sun is 8 times that of b anta heltana allige t1 is 8 times t2 anta aitu allige t eradnu divide maadi divide madidre ಇದನ್ನ ನಾನು ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಟಿ ಟು ಹೋಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಅಂತ ಬರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಟು ಬೈ ಟಿ ಟು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಎ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಟು ಹೋಲ್ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಟಿ ಟು ಟಿ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಎಂಟ್ ಎಂಟ್ಲಿ ಅರವತ್ನಾಲ್ಕು ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಟು ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದನ್ ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಅರವತ್ನಾಲ್ಕು ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಟು ಹೋಲ್ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಎ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ರೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರವತ್ನಾಲ್ಕು ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ರೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರವತ್ನಾಲ್ಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಆಯ್ತು ಸೊ ಎ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನೋಡಿ ಎ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಫೋರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸನ್ is how many times then okay they are asking for a1 a1 is how much 4 times a2 that is 4 times a2 a1 is 4 times a2 It means 4 times two astronauts are floating in gravitational free space after having lost contact with their spaceship the two will ನೋಡಿ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಲ್ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರಾವಿಟೇಷನ್ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಐಸೋಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಗ್ರಾವಿಟೇಷನಲ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅವು ಫ್ರೀ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಅಂತ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಇದ್ರದ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಒನ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇದ್ರದ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಟು ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅಕ್ಕ ಪಕ್ಕ ಇವ್ರನ್ನ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡೋರು ಯಾರೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಬಾಡಿ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮ್ಯೂಚುವಲ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಎವರಿ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಎನಿ ಅದರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಹೂಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them anta helutte universal law of gravitation so idane now f is equal to g into m1 m2 by r square anta bariki correct ah so move towards each other anade correct answer move away from each other sadhya illa will become stay move away andre ibrunu bere innyaro jetta irbeku gravitational free space anta yara karithara anta will become stationary sadhya illa keep floating at the same distance between them that is also now keep stationary andre eno floating andre eno eradu onde so keep stationary floating at the same distance between them avenu aagudilla okay they move towards each other if there is no other force if there is no other gravitational force okay imagine a new planet having the same density as that of earth but it is three times bigger than the earth in size 
So R2 is three times R1 nanta it kodi. If the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the Earth, sorry, not R2 is not equal to three R1. Size is three times. Means volume of that body V2 is three times V1. Okay. Uh, acceleration due to gravity on the Earth to nine agitre g agitre. Uh, surface of the new planet is tangent. Okay, fine. So g acceleration due to gravity of the planet uh, on its surface. Yaw the planet is agudu. Capital G m divided by r square. This is the formula. Okay, na. Even how many planet can it be? Okay, in terms of density, can it be? Na. Yen mar beko g into mass na na wo mass na na wo density into volume na par karan ma. Alag ay g into density of the planet into volume of the planet. Okay, g rho v divided by r square. That's our problem. Okay, if the two planets will be there, we will solve it like this. Okay, g dash by g is equal to g dash. And then you know g rho v dash divided by r square. R one square divided by g rho v divided by r square. क्यूबल टू Three times R two cube. Okay. So what is R one? R one is cube root of three times R two. Okay. S yes. G row G row cancel. V dash is how much? Instead, uh, we will do one thing. We will uh, write the equation in terms of volume. Okay. G rho by r square into volume is four by three pi r cube. R cube r square get cancelled, and four by three. Pi rho g r. This is the acceleration due to gravity equation. Okay. This g. Now g dash by g is equal to four by three pi rho g r one divided by four by three pi rho g r two. So cancel, cancel. R one is how much? Cube root of three times R R one times R two divided by R two root of three. Here no option indicates it. So what we have to do is, I think the radius is three times we have to take. If you take R two is three times R one, then uh, G dash by G is equal to um, three times bigger than R. Sorry. Okay. 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 Earth in size. 
in size okay g dash is r1 by r2 it is uh, r1 is r1 r2 is three times r1 so if you take it as like three then this becomes g dash mm. So G is directly proportional to radius according to this equation. So according to this equation, just no confusions here. Look at look here. The equation is G M by R square. And uh, mass is uh, written as density into volume by r square. Density is there. Volume in the for the volume you just write four by three pi r cube. The formula becomes four by three pi rho g r. Okay, g is directly proportional to r. If radius becomes b three times, then uh, the acceleration due to gravity also becomes three times. G dash becomes three g. Okay, as simple as that. Starting from the center of Earth, having radius r. the variation of g is given by see we know that when you go away from the earth surface acceleration due to gravity changes as according to the formula g is equal to g m by r plus h whole square so it is inversely proportional to the distance from the center of the sphere okay so inversely proportional to the center of the sphere means this kind of graph will come Okay, right. But uh, this kind of graph is here also. So what happens if you go from the radius part to the center towards the center? So from the center you are moving away means you are moving upwards. So below the Earth surface, the acceleration due to gravity has this equation: g dash is equal to g into one minus d by r. Right? D is the depth. So if you take this equation as Resembling y is equal to c minus m x, where d is the only variable, m is the constant. So this is a straight line equation. It's a linear equation. That's why it varies. It increases linearly. Means if you go from the center upwards, means if you come below the surface, acceleration due to gravity decreases. Instead, if you go from center towards the surface, acceleration due to gravity increases. and it reaches a maximum it increases linearly okay and it reaches a maximum and after the surface when you go beyond the surface the acceleration due to gravity decreases like this it follows this equation that's why option b is the correct answer this will not because to get this kind of a graph you must uh, you should have g is proportional to r square such relationship it does not exist for depth so that's why this is the equation and it resembles a straight line equation. that's why this is the correct graph a geostationary satellite orbiting the earth at a height of 5r above the surface of the earth r being the radius of the earth time period of another satellite in hours at a height of 2r from the surface of the earth is okay here also we will use the same equation t square is equal to Uh, 2 pi into r plus h whole cube divided by gm. This is the equation. R plus h means the total distance from the uh, center of the earth. Okay, t1 square is r plus h1 square h1 cube divided by gm. t2 square is 2 pi by gm into r plus h2 by into whole whole cube. Now t1 by t2 whole square. T1 by T2 whole square is equal to 2 pi by gm. 2 pi by gm will get cancelled. R plus h for the first term. R plus h that is at a height of 5r. R plus 5r whole cube divided by second for the second body. The time period of another satellite in hours. We don't know t2 at a height of 2r from the surface of the earth. So r plus 2r. 
whole cube. That is six R whole cube means six into six into six R cube divided by three uh, R whole cube means three into three into three R cube. Okay, so this becomes two 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 cube. Into R cube is eight, so this this is simply eight. T one by T two whole square. So T two by T one is equal to T two by T one is equal to one by root eight. Okay, one by root eight. T two by T one. Um, one by root eight means one by two root two. One by two root two. T hmm. two is equal to one by two root two into T one. One by two root two into T one is it's a geostationary satellite, means it's twenty four hours. So six a six by root. Hmm. Here it is. So this becomes a twelve by two root two. That is six by root two. Okay. So one by two root two will come. T two by T one is one by two root two into T one, whereas T one is twenty four hours. Right. So six by root two hours. So simplify it. When a block of mass m is suspended by a long wire of length l, the length of the wire becomes l plus l. L is suspended by a mass of ma block m, uh, a block of mass m, and it will stretch, and it becomes l plus l. Okay, now the elastic potential energy stored in the extended wire is okay. Potential energy stored in the extended wire. It's a stress zone strain formula that the um, mechanical properties of matter e is equal to half into stress into strain into volume. This is the formula for potential energy of a stretched string. So that is. Half into what is stress? Force by area. Stress is force by area. Force by area into what is strain? Delta L by L. Delta L is how much? L plus L minus L. That is your delta L. So that is not L plus L minus small L, right? L plus sorry. Delta L is equal to L plus L small by small L. This is nothing but L. So L stress delta L by original length L, L by L. Stress into strain into volume. Volume is area into length. L L get cancel. A A get cancel. So this becomes half into F L. Yeah, what is F actually? F is mg. So this becomes mg L by two. This is your potential energy. A fluid in streamline flow across a horizontal pipe of variable area of cross section. For this, which of the following statements is correct? 
Bernoulli's principle we have to apply. Suppose there is a pipe at the same level. One is having larger area, another one is having smaller area. In larger area, the water will flow with a lesser velocity. At the smaller area, the water will come out with higher velocity. Okay. But the thing what we have to notice here is, according to Bernoulli's principle, the pressure energy plus the kinetic energy at both the points remains constant. The sum remains constant. Means if something increases, appears to increase, see here, the velocity increase at this position, the pressure energy and the kinetic energy. Kinetic energy remains constant. Potential also will come, but here the same level is given. That's why potential energy remains same. There is no change. Here, kinetic energy appears to increase at this point. Kinetic energy increases at this point, but pressure decreases. Pressure decreases to keep something constant. Here, kinetic energy decreases because velocity is slow. Okay, but the pressure is very high here. Pressure energy is high. So, if one thing high becomes higher, another thing, another thing becomes lower to keep something constant. Okay, so the velocity is maximum at the narrowest part of the pipe and the pressure is maximum at the widest part. So pressure is high at the widest part, velocity will be high at the narrower part to keep the Bernoulli's equation intact. Okay, so first option is the correct option. The wettability of a surface by a liquid depends primarily on, means there is a liquid and it wets the surface. Wetting the surface means if a liquid simply rests on the surface like a draw, like a spear, perfect spear, it will not wet the surface. If instead, if the liquid spreads itself on the surface, spreads on the surface throughout, then it has got more wettability. Wettability depends upon the angle of contact. Angle of contact means the tangent drawn to the curve of the liquid and the surface here the angle of contact is theta here the contact is taken inside for a wet to wetting surfaces okay so it depends upon the angle of contact between the surface and the liquid it depends upon it depends from surface to surface if this is a pure um, waterproof uh, surface like uh, an oil coated surface then a water drop will look like this as a perfect sphere if it is an ordinary glass, then it will look like this. The water spreads over the ordinary glass and it, its angle of contact will be different. Here, surface changes means angle of contact changes. Okay. This surface tension is the answer actually for the for this phenomenon. Surface tension is the basic. But surface tension of the same water drop does not change. See, here surface tension, same water means surface tension of the, both the surfaces both the water liquid is same surface tension of the liquid is same since the nature of surface changes angle of contact changes angle of contact changes that gives rise to wettability okay so wettability not depends upon surface tension here primarily due to angle of contact centigrade and fahrenheit thermometer are dipped in boiling water Water temperature is lowered until the Fahrenheit thermometer registers 140 degree Fahrenheit. See, there are two, two thermometers. One is in Fahrenheit. Another one is degree Celsius. Okay. Both are in boiling water. Means both are at 100 degree Celsius. Okay. L later, it was, they were cooled. So, it will show, the Fahrenheit thermometer shows 140 Fahrenheit. Okay. Then, what will be the corresponding degree Celsius? This is the formula of the formula. Fahrenheit degree Celsius and degree Celsius temperature 5 by 9 into F minus 32 the conversion formula. That's the formula. This is the F minus 32 divided by 180 is equal to C minus 0 divided by 100. What is this formula? This is the basic formula. Fahrenheit thermometer other as zero divided by Fahrenheit in a hundred. Ado hundred dali Fahrenheit in a one eighty agate. Okay. Is equal to century Celsius scale in a zero. 
ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಸೆಲ್ಸಿಯಸ್ ಸ್ಕೇಲಿನ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇವೆರಡು ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಅನ್ನು ನೀವು ನೋಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಯಾವುದೇ ಥರ್ಮಾಮೀಟರ್ ಇರಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಥರ್ಮಾಮೀಟರ್ ಸ್ಕೇಲ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಥರ್ಮಾಮೀಟರ್ ನ ಝೀರೋ ಅದರ ಝೆನ್ ಅದರ ಹೈ ಅದರ ಲೋಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಥವಾ ಈ ತರನ ಕರ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ನಾವು ಥರ್ಮಾಮೀಟರ್ ಒನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಅದರ ಲೋಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅದರ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಥರ್ಮಾಮೀಟರ್ ಒನ್ ಥರ್ಮಾಮೀಟರ್ ಟೂ ಮೈನಸ್ ಅದರ ಲೋಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಇದನ್ನ ಎಲ್ ಪಿ ಒನ್ ಎಚ್ ಪಿ ಒನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀಣ ಇದನ್ನ ಎಲ್ ಪಿ ಟು ಎಚ್ ಪಿ ಟು ಅಂತ ಕರೀಣ ಸೊ ಈ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ನ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಈ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಬೈ ನೈನ್ ಇಂಟು ಎಫ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಇದನ್ನ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ಮಾಡಿ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಐರನ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೀಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಫ್ಲೇಮ್ it first becomes dull red then becomes reddish yellow and finally turns white hot correct explanation for the above observation is possible by using kirchhoff law color change idella idu kirchhoff law ninda now explain madbodu means displacement law kuda helutte kirchhoff law kintalo helagala illa not kirchhoff law sorry means displacement law is the correct answer because means displacement law yen helutte ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ನ ಹೆಚ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋದ್ ಹೋದ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಪರ್ಮಿಸಿಬಲ್ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಲೋಯರ್ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ನೋಡಿದಿರಲ್ಲ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನೋಡಿ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಸಾರಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಹಿಂಗ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಶಾರ್ಟರ್ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಕಡೆ ಬರಕ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಹೀಗೆ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೋಡಿ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಶಾರ್ಟರ್ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಕಡೆ ಬರಕ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ತಿದ್ದಾಗ ನೋಡಿ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಲೋ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಬಹಳ ದೊಡ್ಡದಿರುತ್ತೆ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಲೋ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ತುಂಬಾ ದೊಡ್ಡದಿರುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಕೂಡ್ಲೆ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಶಾರ್ಟರ್ ಇಗ್ ಬರಕ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಇನ್ನೂ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಮಾಡಿದ ಕೂಡ್ಲೆ ಇನ್ನೂ ಶಾರ್ಟರ್ ಇಗ್ ಬರಕ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಟಿ ಒನ್ T2, ಟು ಇದು ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ನೋಡಿ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಶಾರ್ಟರ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಶಾರ್ಟರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ಏನಾಗ್ತಿದೆ ರೆಡ್ ರೆಡ್ ಇದ್ದದ್ದು ಯೆಲ್ಲೋ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಯೆಲ್ಲೋ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯೆಲ್ಲೋ ರೆಡ್ ಗಿಂತ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ವೇವ್ ಇದೆ ಅದಾದ್ಮೇಲೆ ವೈಟ್ ಬರ್ತಾ ವೈಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲೂ ಆಗಿ ವೈಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಲೋಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೋಯರ್ ವೇವ್ ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಪೇನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಲಾ ಸೊ ಆಸ್ ದ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ the um, maximum output wavelength from that particular body becomes shifts towards lower wavelength side lower wavelength andre modlu red ididdu amale yellow agutte amale idagutte amale blue agutte like that it goes on changing colors accordingly a black body is at a temperature of 5760 kelvin the energy of radiation emitted by the body at a wavelength of 250 nm is u1 ಸೊ ಟೂ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ನ್ಯಾನೋಮೀಟರ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಅದರಿಂದ ಬಂದ ಎನರ್ಜಿನ ಯು ಒನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀರಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ನ್ಯಾನೋಮೀಟರ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ನ ಲೈಟ್ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಅದರಿಂದ ಎಮಿಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಯು ಟು ಆ ನಂತರ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ನ್ಯಾನೋಮೀಟರ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಅದರಿಂದ ಎಮಿಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಯು ತ್ರೀ ವೀನ್ಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ವಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಯಾವ್ ದೊಡ್ಡದು ಯಾವ್ದು ಚಿಕ್ಕದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಸೊ ವೀನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆಂಪ್ರ
थ्री बाई सिक्स थाउजेंड या सो फाइव हंड्रेड डायनोमीटर विल हैव अट दिस टेम्परेचर ही टेम्परेचर के फाइव हंड्रेड डायनोमीटर इज द मैक्सीम औुट वेवलेंथ अंत बता अंदर अप्रक्सीमेटली पॉइंट फाइव इंटू समथिंग बरत फाइव हंड्रेड डायनोमीटर मुर्टी वेवलेंथ फाइव हंड्रेड डायनोमीटर इज द आंसर अल सो फाइव हंड्रेड डायनोमीटर इज दू टू यू टू इज ग्रेटर दैन यू वन अंत If the temperature of the sun is doubled, the rate of energy received on Earth will be increased by a factor of sun temperature of the sun. Na T one is that na T two mark. Andre T one becomes T two andre two times T one na gatte. Ha kithre energy released is two temperature of the body go energy emitted by the body go yen samanta U is equal to sigma T to the power four Stephen's law. Stephen's law prakara if temperature increases then the output energy will increase. Temperature to the power of four times. अलग है u two by u one is equal to t two by t one whole to the power of four आयत. T two is how much? Two times t one divided by t one whole to the power of four. That is two to the power of four. So u two is equal to two to the power of four अंदर इस टाइप का तपा sixteen आ गया था. अलवा sixteen times u one. Is the time over? Is already ten eleven. Shall I continue, Anikesh sir? Sir, I think, uh, sir, maybe we can. But the uh, so students they have to take breaks uh, because they have next class at ten thirty. Okay, I will uh, share the PDF, completed PDF with you along with the formula list. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. You can share me on my uh, WhatsApp number itself. So, sir, I'll uh, post Is it directly the... on the. He right. is the uh, the number you called me. Yeah, yeah, sir. Same number. Is the same number. Okay, I will say share it. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, the students, you have your break till ten thirty, and after that you have another class, Paper One, sir, which is uh, Biology. So join on time at ten thirty. Thank you. Or any other questions, you can ask me by that time. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Bengaluru that counts as the third top startup city across the globe. Opens up a new and exciting opportunity for all innovators to come on board at the Dayananda Sagar University. Founded by late Sri R. Dayananda Sagar and late Dr. Chandra Ma Sagar, Dayananda Sagar Institutions is into education and healthcare for over six decades. DSI is today considered a center of excellence. in producing students with exceptional academic skills and leadership qualities DSI is now headed by Dr D Hemachandra Sagar and Dr D Premachandra Sagar this leadership has successfully managed and excelled in ensuring excellence in all of its offerings this great foundation ensured DSI to be invited by the Karnataka state government to set up a private university in the state DSU could be among the very few campuses in the country to have a well planned startup village that houses innovation labs supported by industry leaders DSU provides a platform to visionaries and inventors to experiment their ideas globally reputed mnc's that include autodesk bosch etas ibm ge vmware nvidia and boston bosch rexroth dassault systems are now part of the dsu initiatives these companies have invested vast resources to create a one of its kind facility to be used by the community
Joining this great movement is the support from industry bodies, Indian Electronics and Semiconductors Association, Manufacturers Association of India, and Indian Institute of Science in Bengaluru. The Startup Village will now receive guidance from Arizona State University, Rochester Institute of Technology, and Illinois Institute of Technology, Chicago. With a reputation for innovation, our strong backers of the DSU initiatives, distinguished individuals from industry, academics, research, government are lined up to mentor each of the entrepreneurial ideas to ensure all good ideas meet with success. A bouquet of specialists on call, patent lawyers to accountants, costing and taxation specialists, company secretaries, procurement engineers, bankers, designers, packaging specialists, logistics experts is one more feature of the DSU campus. Every year, groups of individuals enter the DSU portals with a burning passion and a dream to achieve. With the combined support and resources at their command, they are now sure to walk out of the DSU campus as owners of the companies enlisted on the National Stock Exchange and a university degree. The ecosystem created by DSU can now accommodate 300 enterprises and welcomes the community to take advantage of this great option and work towards making India a strong manufacturing nation. For passionate and innovative youth, Bengaluru is the place to be and presenting Dayanam Southern University, live the dream. Hello, yes student. So let's have some talk, some interaction. Do you want to talk to